Good evening and welcome to Carol's Not at the Castle, which is being streamed yeah, here from, from the Grand, the Grand in, Clitheroe. in Clitheroe. We are so excited and you are really welcome to be here. Normally at this time of year, we gather with a couple of thousand people up at the bandstand. We have hot chocolates, mince pies, loads of carols and loads of fun. For obvious reasons, we can't be there this year, but we're streaming it from the Grand. This event is put on by Love Clitheroe, which is a collective of local Christians in the town and the Grand. Uh, we've hosted a number of events through the year, which are all about inspiring community, building faith and having fun. So hopefully you're at home and you're watching this um, at, on your TV, on YouTube, but get your phones out as well. Get on social media, hashtag Castle Carols. We want to we see pictures, videos, all sorts in the Facebook thread of what's going on in your house this evening. We are going to hand over to Jim and the band for some carols. Let's do this. Thanks, Dave and Becca. Welcome to Carol's Not at the Castle. There is no castle, but the hashtag is still Castle Carol's. Have I got that right, Dave? Still Castle Carol's. Um, so if you've got your TV on, we want you to sing along. Please drown out the noise that I make. I am just here to provide a bit of um, laughter into your evening as we sing. Um, but you guys sing along. Uh, if you've got musical instruments, you want to join in. Um, if you've got keys or anything that you can shake and just join in as well, that would be fantastic. The words are going to come up and we absolutely want you to sing along and enjoy yourselves. It's the one time a year we get to sing carols. Come on, people. And we're not even outside freezing. So like last year, let, let's just go for it. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King Peace on earth and mercy mild God and sin is reconciled Joyful all ye nations rise Join the triumph of the skies With angelic hosts proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn
was some amazing singing from you guys at home. We could hear you, couldn't we? We could hear him. We could hear you. I hope you're singing along. Please, please do sing along with us. So right now we've got Dave and Becca back onto stage. Please welcome them. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm certainly feeling really Christmassy, and I hope you are as well. For many of us, 2020 has been a difficult year with lots of challenges. But in the midst of that, we have seen some amazing people in our community pull together and support one another. And we wanted to highlight a couple of those projects this evening. The first one of which is the Ribble Valley Food Bank. They have seen a huge increase in demand from families, many of whom have never used them before. But they have also seen a wave of new young people volunteering and want to support their community. And the second project um, is the Salvation Army Toy Bank. So lots of people in our community have bought brand new toys online and donated them for the Salvation Army to take round to families who may not be able to afford to buy toys this Christmas. Um, and, and the other thing that they are doing is they are delivering goodie bags of food in partnership with the Parker's Arms to people who may be on their own this Christmas. 
It's just amazing to hear about the goodwill of people in the Ribble Valley. I feel like this year there's been two stories. There's the obvious one that we've all all heard about, the one about COVID and the pandemic and the difficulties and the challenges. But there's another story as well, and that's one of community, of ordinary people standing up and being awesome, being great people. And that is great news that we want to hear about. There's a couple of the projects, there's loads more, too many to name, but there's someone we really want to highlight this evening, and that is Kira Twizel. <laughs> so this is Kira. She's just 16 years old and she is an incredibly inspiring young woman. Um, this year, she's done so much musical stuff. Yeah, so Kira, I know that you love music and you love to perform and that's been really difficult this year. Can you tell us a bit about how you've been able to, um, to live out that passion this year? Well, um, as we went into lockdown, I tried to find new ways of keeping my love of music alive. So I got involved in a lot of online activity, such as uh, open mics, Mm -hmm. and I did a live stream from Georgia May Management page. And it's just all really helped boost my confidence and my performance skills. Yeah, great. And in a minute, we're going to watch a video which you've, you've created this Christmas. Can you tell us a bit about that? So I thought it would be a really nice, positive way of bringing all the Lockdown Live performers together mm-hmm. as one, being able to sing. And it's just a way of bringing hope and letting us showcase just one final showcase of our talent as one. Thank you. And thank you for allowing us to share this video. So this is um, a video which which Kira has produced with other young musicians um, in the Ribble Valley. And, and you were saying earlier, one of the, the people in the video is only is only 12 years old. So we're going to we're going to watch that video now of Do They Know It's Christmas? It's Christmas time. There's no need to be afraid At Christmas time We let it light and we banish shade And in our world of plenty We we could spread a smile of joy Throw your arms around the world At Christmas time
Thank you so much to Kira and all the young musicians who were involved in putting that video together for us. Wasn't that just amazing? And you may recognise Joel Taylor from the video. Joel's going to sing for us in just a moment. Um, you'll be at home now. Don't forget to get on social media, get on Facebook, hashtag Castle Carols. We want to see pictures of you watching at home, pictures of your snacks, pictures of your family. It'll be great to see you. Over to Joel. Heard there was a secret chord David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do you? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor four The major lift, the baffled kings composing hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Your faith was strong, but you needed proof. Saw her bathing on the roof, her beauty and the moonlight overthrew you. She tied you to her kitchen chair, she broke your throne, then she cut your hair, and from your lips she drew the hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Baby, I've been here before. Seen this room and I walked this floor. I used to live alone before I knew you. Sing your flag on the marble arch And love is not a victory march The cold, it's a broken hallelujah 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 Was a time when you let me know what was going on down below, but now you don't show that to me, do you? Remember when I moved to you, the holy dove was moving to, and every breath we drew was hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Maybe there's a God above. So all I ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who outdrew you. It's not a cry that you hear at night It's not somebody's seen the light It's a cold, it's a broken hallelujah 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 Hallelujah
So um, me and an old friend of mine have been working on something for about 20 minutes. So I'd like to introduce the Erin Lancaster to the stage. Here she is. of Clivero, this is the story of me. Seven years old, slightly asthmatic, nose dripping from a cold, awake far too late on Christmas Eve. I slip past snoring siblings and in the dead of night come alive to a possibility of discovering the price for which I have long been patient. Bristling with expectation, I stumble over the threshold of our living room. My eyes quickly attune to the dark, seeking the thing that will bring spark to my childhood. The limited edition Blue Power Ranger with Automorph action and matching sword accessories. I spot my name on a box. It's the right size, the right feel. No one will notice if I just peel off an edge of the wrapping. My heart wraps against my chest as I begin to reveal the culmination of months of pestering and dreaming. Scarcely believing, I hold in my hand the gift that will give my life meaning. I have him. Blue Power Ranger is mine. And that hype was all well and good. But by the time I turned nine, Blue Power Ranger was missing an arm and lost it in my box of old toys and old socks. My extensive, expensive Christmas wish list did the business for a minute. But if I'm honest, I always felt like there should have been more. No, not more presents, but like store-bought plastics were what life was really for. And maybe you felt it too, that sense of something more, something hidden out of reach just behind that next door. Something out there that gives life purpose, not just for Christmas, but for every day of the year. See, I believe that the everyday fear that most of us here have experienced is that we're missing out on the fullness of life. And if we're honest, we all know that Blue Power Rangers ain't gonna cut it. No flashing new sports car, becoming the latest pop star, or cheeky drink down at the bar is ever gonna be enough. We keep filling our lives with all this stuff. Is that really all we're made for? There's got to be, has to be, something more. 
So what if I were to tell you that I knew the solution? A way to control all the fears that seize us. That life to the full could be found in a person. That the meaning, the purpose, the answer is Jesus. You see, he was there from the beginning before all of creation. And his plan for you today is the same as it was then. That you would know your love beyond all imagination. That God himself wants to call you friend. To that end, Jesus stepped into history, unravelling the mystery of living life to the full. Not just for me, but for us all, which means that this is good news that everyone should know. From Power Ranger loving kids, to you today in Clivero. So that's the story of seven-year-old me and my search for something more. Take it, leave it, follow Jesus and believe it. The choice, my friends, is yours. Thank you, Paul, for that. And it's been great to have so many local performers um, playing and singing for us this evening. And a big thank you to Joel and to Erin for their singing. And we are really excited to welcome to the stage a very special guest. You may recognise her from the 2015 Britain's Got Talent semi-final, or more locally, for her, um, her Academy of Arts. We welcome to the stage Ella Shaw. I keep finding voices in my mind that say I'm not enough Every single lie that tells me I will never measure up Ooh, oh, You say
Wow, wasn't that just incredible? Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. That was yeah, amazing. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to Hannah on the violin and uh, Jonathan on keys. Thank you very much for that, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. If you're enjoying this as much as we are at home, then don't forget, uh, hit like, hit share, make loads of comments, tell all your friends about it. Yeah, and we now have a real treat for you in store. We have a Zoom nativity. So this is the traditional story of the birth of Jesus set in the year 2020 under lockdown conditions. And the cast is all made up of local actors. So see if there are people that you know in it. Um, and we'd love for you to, to tag them when you see some familiar faces. Nativity and we're recording it for YouTube. Can you help me practice my lines? Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, what part did you get? I'm the narrator. I described the whole story. Oh, that's brilliant. Well done, Lydia. Um, I'm just waiting for a Zoom meeting. Can we maybe do it in a little bit? Another one? You're always in Zoom meetings. I know, but that's just the way of the world in 2020, isn't it? Um, it's not like when Jesus was born. You know, imagine not having any Zoom meetings or social distancing or lockdowns would have been totally normal. I don't think there would be much normal about it. I mean, it sounds really interesting. Yeah, but imagine if the nativity happened in 2020. That would be totally different. Yeah, imagine. Yeah. <clears throat> there was a girl called Mary who lived in Nazareth and she worked for Virgin. No, no, she didn't work for Virgin. She was a Virgin. Oh, what's Virgin? Um, you'll have to ask your mum that one when she gets home. Right, got it. There was a girl called Mary who lived in Nazareth and she was a virgin. She was. She was engaged to a man named Joseph. One day, she was home alone. Unknown number? Who can this be? Greetings. Is the lady of the house in? Because you have found favour with God. Huh? I wonder what this means. Don't be afraid, Mary, because you are going to have a baby. You'll call him Jesus, and he will be the son of the Most High, and his kingdom will last forever. How will this happen? I'm a virgin. Oh, now I see. What do you mean you see? You mean you know? Dad, I'm 14. Of course I know. Anyway, back to the story. The Holy Spirit will be upon you, and the power of the Most High will cover you. The baby will be holy, and will be called the Son of God. I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. Great. Gabriel out. Gabriel out? I mean, it doesn't actually tell us how he left, and it's only polite, but I imagine Gabriel was a pretty cool dude. Yeah, I suppose. I do have one question, though. What? Well, would Gabriel not have had to call, or was he exempt from the restrictions? The government guidelines aren't very clear. <laughs> no, they really aren't. I was talking about in relation to angels. Oh, right. Anyway, let's continue with the story. Before we continue with the story, I do have one more question. Okay. How did Mary tell Joseph about the pregnancy? The Bible doesn't actually tell us. It only tells us about how Joseph reacted when he found out. Huh. I wonder how that conversation went. Mm. Hi, hon. What are you up to? Hi, baby. Yes, indeed. Sorry? You all right? I said hi. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just making some toys in the workshop for Elizabeth and Zachariah's new baby boy. You might want to make a few more. What was that? Nothing. Mary, you OK? Something up? I have to tell you something. Right, what is it? I'm okay, but 
I'm pregnant and it's God's child that has been conceived by the Holy Spirit. Joseph, say something, please. Ugh, I know it's a lot to take in. Are you in shock? Sorry, love, lost you there for a minute. You uh, seem to drop out a signal. What did you say? I said that I'm pregnant and it's God's child that's been conceived by the Holy Spirit. You, you've frozen again. Joseph? No, I'm here. That's just a lot to take in. I'll call you back. <sighs> Not long after, Joseph received a video call from Gabriel. Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. What she has conceived has been conceived through the Holy Spirit, and she'll give birth to a son. You will call Jesus, for it is he who will save people from their sins. So, Joseph believed the angel and continued in his plans to marry Mary. About that time, Emperor Augustus gave orders for the names of all the people to be listed in record books. Yeah. Did you know, Dad? Mm. These first records were listed when Quirinius was governor in Syria. Right. I learned that in history. I did not know that, but did you know that Joseph did not actually come from Nazareth in Galilee? He actually came from Bethlehem in Judea. So, because he was a descendant of King David and King David's hometown was Bethlehem, Joseph had to go to Bethlehem to get registered. That sounds like a cool town. So, Mary was engaged to Joseph and travelled with him to Bethlehem. She was soon going to have a baby, and while they were there, she gave birth to her newborn son. She dressed him in baby clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room in the inn. Ah, okay. So my next question is, why was there no Zoom at the inn? I think you mean room. And there was no room in the inn, because the hospitality sector had to shut down. Oh. Duh. That would have made things really tricky. Yeah. I imagine it did. Uh... Hi, um, I'm here with my wife. We're here for the census. Uh, do you have anywhere for us to stay? I thought you booked this. No. Are you being funny? No, why? They've closed the hospitality sector down. You're only allowed to stay if it's for essential travel or for work, is it? Uh, <laughs> not for work, no. Look, you can't stay here. The guidelines are very clear. I thought we could stay for having a substantial meal. No, that was drinks and that was before. Now we have to close unless you're traveling for work. Well, it's, it's not for work. Can, is there anything you can do for us? It's a bit of an emergency. A bit of an emergency? Well, I mean, I suppose I do have a room where the animals stay. Uh, hang on, you mean a stable? No, the Bible doesn't actually say who was born in a stable. That's a common misconception that's occurred over the years. Yeah, but it would work best in this situation, wouldn't it? Yeah, I suppose it would. But with that in our understanding, let's just say Jesus probably wasn't born in a stable. All right, every day is a school day, mind blown. I have a stable out the back where the animals are. And as it's outside, you can meet with one other person as long as you're socially distanced. Well, that'll be fine. I, I can't imagine anybody else will turn up. Good because that would be classed as an illegal gathering. But what do we do with my Shetland pony? Uh, whoa, 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 a Shetland pony? Yeah, what Mary rode on. There was no Shetland pony. There was no mentions of a donkey either. Yet every year they're in school nativities, every year. But if there was no donkey, where does the song Little donkey, little donkey on the dusty road Got to keep on plodding onwards with your hook. Stop! <coughs> oh, you licked me! <coughs> I couldn't oh. breathe! Nope. That's just another common misconception. And although there's some realm of possibility, it's very unlikely. I feel like you are ruining my understanding of the whole nativity. I'm educating you. Most assumptions have some logic behind them, but most just seem nice. Just take it with you. I'll leave a manger out for it. Thanks. So, there were shepherds out on the fields at night looking after their sheep. Stop stealing my job and you're wrong again. Wait, 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 wait. 
You're going to tell me there were no shepherds in the Christmas story? Oh no, there were shepherds in the biblical account, but this is right. the 2020 account. So all the shepherds have been furloughed ah. and are working from home. They're on a Zoom meeting to keep in touch. Evening, gentlemen. Hello. You are right? Yeah, good to see you all. Good evening, Chef Three's forehead. <laughs> Hi, guys. I can see light bouncing off your head. You need to put your camera down, Chef Three. Come by, Chef Three. Down, down, down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not that kind of zoom. Oh. Hi. You OK, guys? Yeah, you? Yeah. This working from home is a nightmare. I didn't even bother getting dressed today. It's just not worth it. But uh, last day of work, I had to bring all the sheep home in the car. I had a packed in the back, I had one in the front. And then since they've been home, I've got them in the front garden, the back garden. The grass is a nightmare. It's gone, it's all mud now. Mrs. Shep 3's marigolds, they're not gonna live to see another season either. Oh, that's a bit rough. Well, it's a bit better for me. I'm on furlough, but I keep dressing like this because you got to dress for the job you want, not the job you have. But it's been great to a degree. I've been washing my socks by night. I've been baking banana bread and I've got involved in TikTok. I have 452 followers on the TikTok, including some chap that just tortures his daughters with terrible jokes called Overcook. Um, some lad called Dave Thornber who just looks weirdly happy when he takes a loaf of bread out of the oven. And obviously you two following me, I'm impressed with the dance moves. Keep it up, Jen. So yeah, it's been all good, really. Well, I'm uh, working from home as well, um, which means four o'clock beers. And um, I can actually check on my sheep on the webcam. I'll just let me show you. you have a look. Yeah, yeah, all good. All normal. Yeah. Nice. All right, who's this? Gabriel? Who's You're on mute. You're on mute. We can't hear you. Bottom left. Bottom left. Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting. Look, do not be afraid. Listen carefully, for I proclaim to you good news that brings joy to all the people. Today your Saviour is born in the city of David. He is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace among people with whom he is pleased. Christ is born. Right, I've got two questions. Number one, who's this Gabriel fella? And number two, who's all that? Well, they are the angelic host and I am the angel Gabriel. Excuse me, the angel Gabriel. I think you'll find that I am the host and I can make you co-host if you want, but don't go muting everyone like Debbie from Finance does when she's co-host. Where have they gone? Where did they go? That, that was weird. Hmm. Well, I think we should go to this City of David place. Um, is it near Cardiff? Uh, what, what tier are we in? Are we allowed to go? No, I don't think we can go together. Not three of us. I think we're in tier... Th are we in tier three? Are we in tier two? Yes, we're in tier three because we exist in the north of England. So we're automatically in tier three. Okay, well, that means that we can't go because you can only have two households in tier three, can't you? Yeah, but we can go. But first of all, let's clarify where we're going. The city of David is not near Cardiff. Did you not pay attention in RE? The city of David is Bethlehem. So we need to go to Bethlehem. And I think it's probably going to be better regarding the restrictions if we go out over Christmas because then the restrictions have been lifted for five days. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Right, so 23rd to the 28th, that's when COVID doesn't exist. Brilliant, okay. Yeah, so we can go on Wednesday over Christmas time. Okay, don't forget your masks, guys. No, won't forget it. Yeah, right, nice one. Right. Thanks, gents. I'll see, see you there. You. See you then, bye. See you later. Bye, guys. So, they hurried off and located Mary and Joseph and found the baby lying in a manger. When they saw him, they related all they had been told about this child. 
and all who heard were astonished at what the shepherds were saying. But Mary treasured up all these words and pondered in her heart what they might mean. So, the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. Everything was just as they had been told. Okay, all makes sense so far, but what about the three kings of Orient are? It's the Orient, but they weren't kings. There probably wasn't only three of them, and they definitely didn't arrive on the day he was born. Right, <laughs> I feel like I've been lied to all my life. I mean, they were probably astronomers or astrologers, but we only say there's three because there were three gifts. But all we really know is that there was only more than one. I feel like every school nativity that I've ever been to has also just lied to me. I mean, most nativities are based on the biblical account, just some add a few assumptions. Okay, well, I wonder how they would have got on in 2020. Are we in agreement then that the star we see in the sky could lead us to the birthplace of the Messiah, the greatest event that has happened or ever will happen? Yes! Yes! Then we need to go and follow the star and see where it leads us. But is it an essential journey? I think it's safe to say that this is essential. But what do the guidelines say about it? Nothing about acts of God or births of Messiah in here. But surely it's essential. Maybe he's been born at Bernard Castle. That way, we're absolutely fine. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I understand. Okay. Sorry, guys. Let's just... Who was that? Um, it was a king from the Middle East. And he said that as soon as we find the Messiah, to let him know, so then he can go and worship him as well. A king from the Middle East. <laughs> These cold callers are getting really creative. I know. There's no way I'm calling him back. Let's go. After the wise men had listened to the king, they went on their way. The star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them. It finally stopped over the place where the child was. The wise men went to the home and there they found the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. They then opened their treasures. They gave him gold, frankincense and myrrh. But God warned them not to go back to Herod in a dream, so they returned to their home country on a different road. So, the Word became human and lived among us. He was so full of unfailing love and faithfulness, and we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. Well, I really enjoyed that. I feel like I've actually learned loads about the Nativity. What about you, Liddy? I've learned that the circumstances surrounding Jesus' birth were difficult in so many ways. I also know that things are difficult now, but as was the case then, if the nativity really was set in 2020, God would make a way. Because as difficult as things seem, God will make a way to reach us, the world that's going on. We should remember that this Christmas. Merry Christmas! That is a very important, very good message. Well done, Lydia. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my meeting's just about to start. Wait, no! Merry Christmas, everybody! That was brilliant. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We just want to take this opportunity to say thank you for you to you guys for tuning in um, and getting involved this Christmas. Uh, but also a huge thank you to Ian Sargenson who wrote the Nativity, to all the actors involved, all the musicians involved, and everybody in the technical teams and all sorts of other teams that have come together this year to put it all together. 
Yes, and we want to take this opportunity to mention a couple of other Love Clitheroe events which are going to be happening over the next couple of weeks. In the summer this year, on the Love Clitheroe Facebook page, we had uh, the big quiz night. It was a huge success and loads of fun. Well, quiz night is back with Love Clitheroe's Big Quizmas. Yes, that's right, Big Quizmas. Um, uh, so that will be um, on the 30th of December at half seven on Facebook Live. And the other thing that we wanted to do is as we look forward towards 2021 and we, we look forward with hope towards the coming year, we want to pray God's blessing over our town. So Dave and I are going to be doing a short Facebook Live um, prayers around 10 minutes and that will be on New Year's Day at 7.30pm as we pray for God's blessing in the coming year. And we would love for you to join us in that. Amazing. We hope to see you there. Until then, have a very Merry Christmas and let's go for it with one more song. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Becca. Fantastic. Thanks, Dave and Becca. Um, we're going to do one more carol for you. Nice rousing carol. So we need you to sing. Are you guys ready to sing? No, no. We don't want these guys to sing. Honestly, we don't want these guys. They're just going to play, but we need you at home to join in. So lots and lots of singing. We can hear you. We can definitely hear you as you sing along. So let's go for one more carol. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let us receive a king. Let every heart be paid in room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs implore. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains repeat the sound in joy, repeat the sound in joy, repeat, repeat the sound.
joy to the world. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive a King. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Uh, we're going to do one more song, and it's not just all about Carol's Christmas, is it? We're going to do a Christmas song, and uh, we, yeah, you just got to go for it. You know it, you know it. We're going to join in. Here we go. Are you hanging up a stocking on a wall? It's a time that every Santa has a ball. Does he ride a red-nosed reindeer? Does he turn up on a sleigh? Do the fairies keep him sober for a day? So here it is, Merry Christmas, everybody's having fun. Look to the future now, cause it's only just begun. Are you waiting for the family to arrive? Are you sure you have the room to spare inside? Does your granny always tell you that the old songs are the best? That she's up and rock and rolling like the rest. So here it is, Merry Christmas. Everybody's having fun Look to the future now Cause it's only just begun What would your daddy do When he sees your mama Kissing Santa Claus ah, Are you hanging up Your stocking on the wall are you hoping that the snow will start to fall? Do you ride on down the hillside in a buggy you have made? When you find it on your head, then you've been slain. Hey! So here it is, Merry Christmas, everybody's having fun. Look to the future now, it's only just begun So here it is Merry Christmas Everybody's having fun Look to the future now Cause it's only just begun yeah. Merry Christmas everybody Have a great Christmas Safe New Year Are you guys waving? Did they wave? <laughs>